Hi, now I'll tell you about load combinations. Um, when calculating loads, we have two different states. We have ultimate limit states, abbreviation ULS, and we have serviceability limit states, abbreviation SLS. The ultimate limit states is extreme load, and the keywords is safety and rupture. The serviceability limit states is frequent load and the keywords is deflection and comfort. So when you calculate um, the load combination you'll figure out that um, the ULS load is bigger than the SLS load. So again ULS is extreme load and SLS load is frequent load. In the Eurocode 0 on page 44 it is stated how to calculate the ULS. Uh, the formula said, say, take the sum of the cell weight multiplied with the safety factor gamma GJ. Then it also says something about the pre stressed structures, but um, forget this. Then it said, take QK1, that's the leading variable loads or you can say the biggest variable load multiplied with the safety factor gamma Q1. Then it stated we need to add the sum of other variable loads gamma QI multiplied with gamma QI and reduction factor phi zero. So this is the formula for ULS. So we need to find the safety factor gamma GTA, the safety factor gamma Q1, the safety factor gamma QI, and reduction factor phi zero. And I have made a scheme here for ULS, and um, first I look up in your code zero. So I go to your code zero, page 53. Here's uh, the table A12, and um, here you can see for permanent action, that is self-weight. And there are two uh, values you can choose, they are unfavorable or favorable. In most cases you use the unfavorable value. You can say the load are unfavorable for the structure. There are rare examples of favorable loads, but in um, most cases unfavorable. So we need to find gamma GJ sub, sub means supremum, the upper value. Gamma GJ supremum. And I can read down here that gamma GJ supremum value, the safety factor for silt weight is 1. Then I need to find gamma Q1, that's the safety factor for the leading variable action. And I can find it in this scheme, and I go down gamma Q1, it is 1.3. Then I need to find the safety factor for uh, all other variable loads, gamma QI, it is stated here. And I can go down here and find it gamma QI 1.3. And finally, I need to find phi zero. So I go to zero code zero, page 49. Here's a table. And if I choose category A, uh, that's normal domestic and residential areas, then I can see it's 0.7. Of course, if you had office and congregation areas, then you should use other numbers. But here I use 0 0.7. So now I had the factors from the Euro codes. But now I need to go to the Danish National Annex to figure out which value are used in Denmark. So I have here on the right side the Eurocode 0 Danish National Annex, page 5. 
for permanent action unfavorable uh, gamma gj supremum is 1 in Denmark so it's the same value as before then I need to find gamma q1 and gamma q1 in Denmark is 1.5 So we see you, we use a bigger value than in the euro codes. Um, the gamma qi find here it is 1.5 in Denmark. Finally, I need to find phi zero. And then I go to euro code zero. Danish National Annex, page 2, phi 0, category A, in Denmark 0 0.5. So, the, those are the values used in Denmark for ULS. Now I need to find out um, the SLS load. And uh, in Eurocode 0, page uh, 47, there are three different uh, methods to uh, calculate SLS. We use the B method. And it said, take the sum of the cell weight, forget the pre stressed Then it's, it's stated, take phi 1 multiplied with um, the leading variable load plus take a sum of all other variable loads qki multiplied with phi 2 so we need to find phi 1 and phi 2 that's the only thing we need to find for this load combination so first i go to the euro codes um, 0 page 49 and um, here I can find phi 1 and phi number 2. It's 0 0.5 and 0 0.3. Then I go to the Danish National Annex, page number 2. And in Denmark it said we use phi 1 0 0.3 and phi number 2 is 0 0.2. Yeah, so now I have um, the necessary factors to calculate uh, the extreme load and the factors to calculate the serviceability load, ULS and SLS.